hi guys welcome back to the channel for everything arsenal and everything football thanks for being here i hope you're all doing well and welcome to yet another transfer video arsenal is well known for being linked with player after player after player every morning i wake up i find we are linked with another player from germany some other day from france some other day from brazil and here's another one william from chelsea um, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at why he could be a good buy and why he might not a good buy, the reasons he might end up joining Arsenal and how we could line up with him in the squad if he joins the team next season. But just before I get into that, I've just recently created a Patreon account. Um, so I'm going to be posting more content there, more deeper analysis and deeper breakdowns. And uh, I'm going to be doing podcasts with different guests on there. So if you want to watch the content and be part of my team and support the channel i'll have the the link down in the description so i'll appreciate your support i'm trying to grow this channel and make it big and more um give you more content so i'll really appreciate if you click on the link in the description and check what that is about and now to william 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 arsenal is known for signing these second-hand players and um outcasts from their teams i don't really think william is an outcast but we've been known to sign players like galas who are finished players like sylvester i'll never forget sylvester how how actually wenger believed ferguson was giving him a good player players like um who else players like there's so many players like check even louise and most of our good players go to those teams so people like sanchez people like Van Persie, Fabregas. So we are no normally always conned by these teams. We get poor players and they get all of our better players. That's why we've been hearing stories of Aubameyang being linked to teams like Chelsea and Man U. I hope that that doesn't happen. Um, so William, could he really fit at Arsenal? Of course he could. And um, the, I'll start with the negatives. Um, he could be wanting 120000 a week and uh, we've been having a lot of drama with players' salary in the past few years and I don't want that again. Is it really worth that 120000 Yes, if he was like 27, 28 by now, he's, by the time we're signing him, if he do, he's going to be 32 years of age and uh, he'll only serve us for like two years. So is it really worth it giving him that 120000 Unless we sell someone like Ozil and give Obama a new contract and then add someone like William on a free, that is fine. Um, another negative, as I've said, um, is his age. But um, age and um, the salary really affects us. But I've just talked about the free agent. That's one positive. Arsenal are really enjoying these free agents and loan deals recently. Denis Suarez, Ceballos, Pablo Mari, Cedric. Um, all those players have been signing and fitting our budget and William is one of them. Uh, if Kroenke was truthful about investing and uh, all that, then we wouldn't sign someone like William. But if um we sign someone like William, I guess that could give us space to give Obama a new contract and stuff like that because we'll have some money in the bank to pay people like Lacazette and Obama who I don't want to leave Arsenal. And um he can also play different positions, which I'm gonna take a look late uh, take a look at later on. He could fit for us in different positions. Plus he's a workaholic at would love a player like that. He's like that's that kind of Brazilian players, the Martinelli's of this world, those energetic players. And um his hairstyle is pretty nice. He'll he'll be sharing salons and stuff with the likes of Luis and Guendouzi. So it can only be a good thing for us that um players can bond and stuff like that. Those Brazilian players and uh, also Guendouzi with the hairstyle and everything. It could help all those um players to get closer and have a better relationship. Um, another negative is um. It could be a blow for people like Willock and Nelson if someone like that joins. What would they think? Like, he's a 32-year-old coming. We thought we were getting our, our space in the team and our chance to play for Ateta. And I know Ateta would like this long, uh, this uh, young players, but for me, I've, I've already done a Keep or Sell series. Um, I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now. But for me, I'd like to take Willock out on loan. I don't think he's quite ready. I'd take him out on loan even if it's for six months. Nelson, I'd keep him, but I wouldn't. I don't really think he's ready to start for Arsenal. So if we sign someone like William, it could be a blow for those young players. But sign or keep, sign or not sign, I really don't know. And um, let me now take a look at how we could... And just before I do that yet, um, 
the agent for Cedric Suarez and Luis and they do is the same one for Williams. So if we actually agree personal terms with him, I think he could actually join us because he's close to the likes of Luis and uh, Edu and uh, the agent has dealt with Arsenal the last few months. So it could be just a swift move to Arsenal, just change and learn, change the the neighborhood in London, change the change from West London to North London and life continues. It could be as easy as that. But anyway, let's check. Uh, let's take a look at how we could line up with him in the squad next season. Of course, we've been known to play a 4-2-3-1 as usual the last very many years. Um, we never actually switch up. We've just switched up a couple of times under Emre and a couple of times under Wenger when the things were getting tough. We turned, we tried a back three and stuff like that. Um, so if a 4-2-3-1 remains as our formation next season, then William would definitely work for us. For me, I really don't like Pepe playing on the right. Um, I think he has to dribble too much, turn back to his left, cut back again, dribble too much, get corners. So I would prefer Pepe in the mid lane behind the striker where he can um, get past the striker and get one-on-ones and stuff like that. And um, William, as an as an energetic player, could fit on the right wing. He's been playing there for Chelsea. Or he could even fit as a left winger. Or even you could keep Pepe on the right and have William in behind the striker. And uh, as I've said, energetic player. So it's slot straight in. Um, we don't really have right wingers. We've been crying for right wingers. I've had people saying we want someone like Tembelo. We need someone like Tembele from Barcelona. We need someone like Eduard from Celtic. Someone like Lamar from Atletico. We've been linked with a lot of wingers. Even Zaha on the left. Ryan Frazier on the left. So William would definitely suit us. Plus he's free so it's slot straight, straight in. No money having to be paid. Friends in the team already. So that is one formation we could play. If you've been watching my past, my past videos, you'd know I prefer 3 4 one, two. Um, If we actually play this formation, it could be behind the striker. But this all depends with, with whether Aubameyang and Lacazette stay or one of them goes. For example, we could have Lacazette and Pepe and then William in behind them. We could also have um, Aubameyang and Pepe if Lacazette is the one to leave and William in behind them. But for me, I wouldn't play this formation if William joins. This formation would be if I have Aubameyang, Lacazette and Pepe in behind them. Uh, we've, we've also been linked with people like Coutinho. Coutinho would be would be good for such a formation. Uh, three, four, one, two. He could partner someone like Thomas Party, hopefully if he joins in the middle or Shaka or Torreira. And then you can have the front three and the wing backs. So it really depends who we sign. Uh, that formation, not for William, but the 4-2-3-1 is a good formation for William. Another one is a 4-3-3, uh, William on the right and uh, Aubameyang on the left and Lacazette in front uh, as a striker, but that one would affect Pepe. So another formation that wouldn't really work out. So here we really have 60% not sign him and 40% sign him. Uh, I don't know which one I'd really lean on because that free agent thing it could be a good thing for our budget and it could allow us to give Aubameyang a new contract and we wouldn't have to splash 70 million or 60 million for all those other players we could splash for the defenders and defensive midfielders so if you actually need a new winger and uh, have the money to buy a defender and a midfielder and give Aubameyang a contract and add the money that Kroenke supposedly promised us I'd definitely get William ahead of the likes of Frege and um, Odson, Edward and players like that so if that's how we are going to work out in the if that's how it's going to work out in the transfer period, then I'm definitely going to take William because of the experience, because of the free agent thing. I hopefully the for me the formation can suit him and hopefully the contract is not too expensive. Plus he has a couple of friends at Arsenal. Plus um he still has like two years, three years, so I wouldn't mind that. So yeah, for me. I'd get William. As, as I've said, it can help us get money for Bamiang and save money for players like Upamecano and Pate. So I'd sign William as a free agent, definitely. Let me know in the comment section what you do with William. Would you sign him or do you prefer people like Coutinho? Do you prefer people like Eduardo or Dembele? Um, is he a good buy? Is he not a good buy? Can he fit our formation? Wouldn't he? Can't he, uh, can he fit our formation or you're not really... Uh, uh, 
a fan of him joining Arsenal in our formation. Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for supporting this channel. As I've said earlier on, I'll have a link to my Patreon account in the description. I'll link up another video in the YouTube card right now. Thanks for supporting. If you love more videos like this, let me know in the comment section. I also have another one where I talked about how we could line up with um, Thomas Party at Arsenal. It's gotten positive reaction. So check that out. Um, thanks for watching. Keep staying safe and God bless.